Good morning, this is Faith from Fire Santero. Hope everyone is well. It's Monday morning. I've been awake for 16 minutes. We're going to see how this goes. I'm trying to get this top and bottom done before I go to work, so when I get home this evening, I can do things around the house that need to be done. Because between Friday to Sunday, it, it becomes a little bit more of a train wreck than it was on Thursday, you know what I'm saying? The dudes I live with, you know. It's fine, I'm used to it. Anyway, those of you who are new here don't know how we do this. We go by the elements. It is still Gemini season, so air elements will go first. We'll go around the wheel that way. Same as the general zodiac sign reading. If it resonates, cool. If it doesn't, okay. Stay through the to the end. Check the moon rising or Venus signs. If you feel so inclined, I'm not going to twist your arm. Like, share, and subscribe if you haven't already. If you feel like it. If you don't, it's your journey, not mine. I'm just reading cards, guys. Do what you want. It's your free will to do whatever you choose to do. Time and energy are fluid. All things can and maybe vice versa. And all that happy jazz. Okay. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. What's going on with you guys this week? Strength in the upright, page and wands in the reverse. Could be a Leo or another fire sign you are dealing with. Oh, wow. Hmm. This is speaking of a connection. I think it's a connection you're not doing anything about. Hmm. All right, in the past, we have a Ten of Swords reversed and a Ten of Cups reversed. Well, I'll be darned. A pain... My Monday morning's a Disney movie, that darn cat. Hey! Hey! It's not that bad! Thank you! <coughs> Sorry. Okay. So, a cycle didn't close out. The sun wasn't shining. You weren't happy. Wow. Okay. That's a double left hanging out there. You know I don't like that. Fast forward a little bit. Three of Swords in the reversed and the King of Pentacles. Slowly coming out of that state of sadness. Coming into your own, possibly. This King of Pentacles can be of coming into your own or a fabulous offer came your way. Stability. Strength. Hmm. He's kind of overbearing, though. This King of Pentacles. He can be. All right. Hmm. Well, coming up for this week, we have the Tower and the Ace of Pentacles, so... Sudden and abrupt change, something's going to come crashing down, and a new fabulous offer comes at you. But I don't see you going for it. Maybe this week is going to require strength with this tower. Hmm. Okay, well... Tell me a little bit more about this tower. Just the tower. We're trying to make this quick. Justice in the reverse. Oh, and injustice. Something definitely not fair. Might be a legal matter. Doesn't necessarily have to be. Some kind of injustice. Sudden and abrupt change. But it's these moments of sudden and abrupt change that can make way for the things that are supposed to be there. It's awesome. 
definitely something rosy coming your way. What's this Ace of Pentacles all about? Ten of Wands in the reverse. Okay. This something new may be something old. My, my, my. This something new or something old may be an opportunity to get some things off your chest. It's talking about a burden you haven't released. It's talking about something you haven't closed out. One more and then we're going to get your advice, air signs. Two of swords. Hmm. An opportunity to take a blindfold off, see things as they really are might have to do with this injustice. I don't see you moving on it though. I don't. I don't see you acting on it. Let's get your advice. The Queen of Pentacles in the upright and the Nine of Wands in the reverse. Yeah. Queen of Pentacles is, she's cool. You know why she's cool? Because she has everything she ever wanted already. She's very self-assured. She's very high and mighty. She doesn't need anybody else. Forget the sex of the card. That doesn't matter. It's the energy coming off the card. This may be an opportunity for you to close something out that hasn't absolutely because she's hanging out with the Knight of Wands. The Knight of Wands is the, I'm in, I'm out. I'm here for two seconds, I'm gone. I'm here for a good time, I'm leaving. This week may be the week where you establish, this is what I want, and I'm not sure if it's somebody who's just going to fly in and fly out. That's self-love. That's self-respect. That's self-worth. Air signs. This is your week where you establish your self-worth. Sun in the upright, two of cups in the reverse. We'll all be damned. Sun wasn't shining up here. You came out of it. Offer came your way. This week, you got something coming in that's going to say, shake some shit up. This shaking some shit up is an opportunity to find you and find the sun and disconnect from whatever did this, finally. That's why I don't see you moving on it. So, it, it, it's up to you. It's your journey, not mine. I just read the cards. Okay. That's what I got for you, air signs. Take your opportunity or leave it if you so choose. It is not my journey. Water signs, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, what's coming in for you this week? Very, very quickly. Knight of Swords in the upright. Five of Cups in the reverse. 
Sherlock Holmes, what are you doing here? Huh? Possibly this week, my water sign friends might be an air sign you're dealing with. Could be water. Who knows? Take it if it resonates. If it doesn't resonate, well, that's not what the deal is. You're going to get some information that's this week that's going to finally bring you out of a state of sadness. You might see it on social media. They might dial direct. I don't know. But it's going to be a handy little piece of information. In the past, Ace of Swords reversed, Nine of Wands reversed. There was no communication. Someone was left vulnerable. They were, you were not all about the battle at the end of that. Just, uh... I'm done. There's the towel. I'm throwing it on the pile with the rest of them. I'm done. I don't want to do this anymore. I'm just not going to talk to him anymore. Okay, fair enough. Fast forward a little. The lovers and strength. Oh, gosh. That was a soulmate connection. with some severe polarities and differences, possibly one trying to overtake the other. The other, But this was huge. This was meant to teach you something, because oftentimes soulmate connections, that's what they come into your life for. They don't come to stay. They don't. But it, it's a harmonious unity, and you got to do with it what you're supposed to. We'll get some clarity on that in a second coming in this week. Yup. Page of Swords, upright hair, foot in reverse. You're going to find out why it didn't work. It's, I don't know. Clarity. Why is the lovers here? Ace of Wands reversed, it was a connection, match didn't strike, didn't take off. Duh, that's why you're here. Strength in the upright, why are you here? Strength in the upright, why are you here? Empress, oh wow. You held out for it. You wanted it to grow so bad, but it just didn't take off. This was the one you wanted. This was mommy, or this was daddy. Like, the one you want to make babies with, or something of that nature. The one you want, the one you wanted it all with, and it just didn't work. The connection was there. It just didn't happen. It wasn't supposed to. It wasn't supposed to. The match maybe was not supposed to strike. <coughs> and it took every strength you had to get through that. All right, why is the Page of Swords here? Never mind, I know. I'm going to throw a card out anyway. So we know why the Page of Swords is here, but we're going to find out anyway. Information. Information as to why it didn't connect. Six of Wands, that's a card of return. You or the person you're dealing with may have had someone return to your life. Oh, wow. Take that if it resonates. It, you still get your victory because there's victory in that information. There's victory in knowing why. Most of us never get to find out why. Why is the Hierophant reversed here? Six of Swords in the reverse. 
Yeah, the disconnect happened because there was a return. And maybe somebody is coming back into your life this week. You found out somebody came back into theirs. And I'm, I'm seeing this as a sudden realization. People leave to make way for the ones who are supposed to be there. And you'll come out of your state of sadness very quickly. Hmm. Okay. Let's get your advice. Ten of Pentacles in reverse and Seven of Swords in reverse. Hmm. Two great gifts here. Sometimes the not working out is the gift. And the honesty is the gift. Somebody wrote a song about that. I, I don't want to plug them though. But look it up. Look it up. Just look up the concept of... The greatest gift you ever received is the one that got taken away from you. And th the gift being taken away was the best thing that ever happened to you. Yep. Knight of Pentacles and the Two of Cups. This was a huge gift. And you have to look at it that way. With this disconnect, you have bigger, better things coming and you need to concentrate on that. This disconnect made way. You have to look at the positive side of those spilt cups, water signs. Bummer, not a bummer. It's going to hurt at first, but the pain's going to go away. Okay. Fire signs. My tummy is going a rumbly. And my son was wide awake at 4.30 this morning. I don't know why. I wasn't, but apparently he was. Aries, Leo Sagittarius. What's going on for you this week? Ten of Swords in the upright. Page of, or Knight of Wands in the upright. That looked like it hurt. Here's the good news. Worst of it's over. Worst of it's over. The sun's coming up. As soon as you get those swords out of your back, it's not going to hurt anymore. This may be an indicator that this week you're going to be ready to play the field a little bit. Could be. We'll see what the rest of the cards have to say. Maybe an air or fire sign that you were dealing with. <coughs> oh my, my, my. Okay. In the past, we have a devil and a five of wands. An obsessive, toxic, potentially, connection. Could have been sex-based. Could have been. It's not going to surprise me, your fire signs. I, I, I'm not blasting you. Don't take offense to that. I, 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 I am one, so I get it.
I'm just saying. Sugar and spice and everything nice, I'm just saying. Don't be offended. There was a connection, and it was powerful, and it was huge. Obsessive, potentially toxic. Could have been a Capricorn you were dealing with. That's not me blasting Capricorns either. This is your card, Capricorn. Just saying. There was confrontation. There was arguments. There was a lot of fighting. Probably what led to the Ten of Swords. Fast forward a little bit. Five of Cups and the Knight of Pentacles. Maybe the connection just made you sad. Spilt cups all over, confrontation, having a hard time seeing the blessings that are being put before you or the blessings that are there. And along comes the Knight of Pentacles. We're going to find out why he's here in a minute. Fast forward a little more into this week. Four of Wands in the reverse in the tower. Uh-huh. It's coming to a head this week, my friends. My brothers, my sisters. My fire sign soul family. It is coming to a head this week. The arguments, the confrontation, the not seeing the blessings. The worst of it's over, though. Or it's about to be over. The sun will shine again. Why is the Knight of Pentacles here? Why is the Knight of Pentacles here? Get back in there. Okay, hi. Queen of Wands. Speaking of sugar and spice and everything nice, there it is. Knight of Pentacles doesn't necessarily have to be an offer of stability. It can just be a chance meeting. One of those soulmates, somebody that you run into at a bar, have a short conversation. Have you? Has this ever happened to you? Because this happens to me a lot. It happened to me a lot shortly after my mother passed away. You just randomly bump into people who get it. I remember having odd conversations with people in grocery stores quite a bit who had just lost a parent. It's like, wow. Why is this happening to so many people at once? And why are they all seeking me out to tell me about it? The universe is funny like that. Especially when you're licking your wounds. The universe is real funny like that. I mean, it could be a solid, stable offer, but I'm thinking this is a chance meeting. This is somebody coming in to show you what kind of fire you really have. This is somebody coming in to remind you of your own self-worth. Doors are slamming this week and towers are crashing down. I know how much of a beautiful thing that is. Sometimes it needs to all come crashing down to be rebuilt the way you want it built. Because I don't think this is what you want, fire signs. I don't think you want the chaos and the arguments and the head down on a bar. Because you're sad. This isn't what you want. You just want it to be over. You're in a connection that isn't good for you. I mean, it's great for some things, potentially, if that part's resonating with you, but just because it's great for some things doesn't mean it's good for you. There's more 
to a connection and a relationship than sugar and spice and everything nice. You know what I'm saying? There's more to it than that. Why is the Four of Wands reversed here? Just saying. It took me a long time to figure that out, too. It did. Hi, these cups. Something new will come out of the slamming doors and the falling tower. Why is the tower here? Six of Pentacles. Fire signs. It's the worst of it's over. For the love of God, the worst of it's over. Or it's about to be over. This is a new start. This is self-love. This is the evening of a playing field. This is things coming back into balance. This is fucking beautiful. I'm happy for you. I am. I'm kind of hoping this resonates for me this week. Just saying. <laughs> Let's get your advice. Okay, the moon in the reverse and the emperor in the reverse. It might knock the wind out of your sails a little bit, but yeah. The fog's going to lift. The smoke's going to clear. It's okay to be vulnerable. It's okay. It's okay to be sad. It's okay to let it have you be out of control for a minute. It's only going to be for a minute. It's okay <sighs> to be that turtle going back into your shell for a little while. Just don't stay there long. Don't stay there long. Because things are about to be illuminated. And it's a beautiful world. Don't stay in your shell too long. The Hierophant Upright Seven of Pentacles Reverse. No, this didn't fruit. It didn't. But there's an important life lesson here. The Hierophant is also the teacher of life lessons. He's also a student of them, but neither here nor there. There's a lesson in this for you. It's not up to me to tell you what that lesson is. It's not my job. That's not why I'm here. It's up to you to figure out what it is, fire signs. But there's a lesson here, and it's valuable. And I believe that lesson is a lesson of self-worth. Not necessarily what it is, but if that's what you're taking out of it, okay. If it's not, it's not your story. Don't look at me, I just read the cards. I don't know everything. Trust me, if I knew everything, I wouldn't live where I live. I wouldn't have the job, the real job that I have. I don't know everything. I'm not that cool, I'm really not. All right. Oh, man. Yeah. Okay. Earth signs. Your turn. I'm checking the clock. Oh, my God. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. What's coming in for you guys this week? The Devil and the Ace of Cups. Oh, shoot. Could be a Capricorn or a water sign you're dealing with. That's a powerful connection. And that's a new start in love. We got to see what the rest of the cards have to say, but that, that's a little sketch. A little bit. I don't know if that's a powerful connection or a toxic one. 
the past we have a queen of swords and temperance okay truth balance and flow patience honesty fast forward we have a two of cups reversed and a ten of cups reversed well something happened a disconnect somebody wasn't happy strength in the reverse six of swords in the reverse oh wow just when you think you're drained okay A disconnect need for closure all right I'll bite why is the ten of cups reversed here lovers are reversed the connection that wasn't acknowledged on both sides equally a disconnect. Why is strength reversed here? Hi. Six of Pentacles. Things finally coming back into balance this week. It's, it's draining, but it's coming back into balance. Could be a Leo you're dealing with. Why is the Six of Swords reversed here? Get back in there! I can't have 20 of them trying to talk at once right now, you know? Give me one card that says it all. Thanks. I'll take two. Six of Cups and the Seven of Cups. Oh, shoot. Okay. Powerful connection. Like binding. This connection messed with you. You may have tried to start over with somebody else. You this It hung on to you. It clung to you. You clung to it. It was still there. Truth, balance and flow, patience. It's where you were at in the past, then there was a disconnect. Everything was fine, then everything went to shit. Okay. This week, draining, it's going to feel worse than it actually is. Because that draining feeling is everything coming back into balance. Six of Swords. <laughs> Six of Cups and a Seven of Cups. Somebody's coming back. Potentially someone from your past is going to cause a little bit of confusion this week. But it's going to bring things back into balance, possibly bring things back into perspective for you. At least it's somebody you had good memories with, but it's going to cause confusion. Can I get one more on that? Then we're going to get your advice. Then I got to get ready to go to my bread and butter job. Five of Swords reversed. Pieces on the ground. The question is, are you going to be able to pick up the pieces of something that was left shattered? Your advice. Eight of Swords upright. Eight of Wands upright. Do not let this put you in a cage of your own thoughts. Do not let this cause chaos in your existence. This could be an opportunity to talk it out. It's going to come in quickly. And the question is, how are you going to deal with the confusion? Six, seven, eight. Don't let this consume you. It's going to be over before you know it. The Tower and the Ten of Wands reversed. Do not let this be a burden. And do not let this shake up your existence. Do 
don't let this change any more than it has to change. This could be a game changer. If things are going well, don't let it bring about the tower. If things are not going well, this could be an opportunity for change. Get something off your chest, work things out. It's all with what you do with the tower. It's all how you take the tower. Sudden and abrupt change is coming. The opportunity to, to maybe set things right, I don't know. If you want to pick the pieces up, pick the pieces up. If you don't, you don't. Tower's an opportunity. Okay, Earth signs, this is what we have for you. I hope you guys have a good week. Um, this week I'm going to be filtering out the second half of June readings. We're going to start getting those out this week. Hopefully those can be up by the 15th. Long week though. Lots of changes coming in my own life. I love you guys to bits. Thanks for stopping by. We'll catch you soon.